What's up? What's up? What's going on, guys? It's your host, Invisible DFS. Let's talk fantasy football for the slate of week eight. All right, guys. So before I start with week eight for FanDuel and DraftKings, let's go ahead and do a recap for week seven. So the five players I picked for FD was Wilson. Uh, running back was Hunt. And uh, I picked Metcalf. Oh, man. What? A, it wasn't a mistake because that's why I picked, but only if I had go with, uh, of course, the other guy. Don't even want to say his name. And I had uh, my second was Allen, and then I went with uh, Njoku for my tight end. And of course, my other players was uh, Gurley of the Washington football team, Kirk. Um, yeah, basically, uh, everybody did okay except, of course, for Metcalf. Metcalf was the only one. I ended up on, uh, that team was in the melee, and I ended up with 155.62, and uh, that team cash. But, of course, uh, only the difference here, if I had uh, uh, lack it of a Metcalf, could have made a big difference. All right? So, let's check my DK lineup. My DK lineup, I had uh, uh, Herbert, I had Kamara, uh, I had Allen, I had Kelsey, and uh, I make it changes. I did had uh, Mark Williams, but I end up changing it for Green because I end up not want to have two receivers from that one team. So that was a good change here. So this team end up with. Uh, it's crazy, 193 points. That's basically, it was a very, very high scoring, and 193 points. That was in the $3. So I ended up double the money in that, uh, the big $3. But 193 points, it's nothing these days, especially on DK. So that was that's my recap, guys. So let's go ahead and check out, and uh, let's go jump to the next segment, which is where I'm gonna give you guys my um, five players for each position that I like so far. All right, so my early look for week eight. Let's start right now. All right, guys, so my fifth, my five quarterback for FDR, Rodgers. Rodgers uh, had a great game last week. I'm hoping that's going to be the same. He is playing a team that's really, really bad when it's come for defensive rank in uh, the passing game. They are just bad. Washing, passing, no matter what it is. The team is bad, and that's the team in the division. That's Minnesota, and the fact that I just got his best receiver, Adams, healthy, that's a good thing. And for that reason, I like him. Uh, another quarterback I'm looking to play is usually be the top two expensive player in the slate, but this time he's all the way to number four, and that is Lamar Jackson. Yes, they are playing Pittsburgh. To me, it doesn't matter. Lamar is a whole different person. Yes, he hasn't been good, but still average over 21 fantasy points. And I only see him going forward from now on. Coming from the bye week, if his knee was acting up, he should be good to go. I want to see him on while to on Sunday. So, I, I mean, uh, Lamar Jackson is my second, my third running back. I'm going to go with Jimmy here. All right, Jimmy... Uh, Jimmy against uh, Seattle. Seattle defense has just been bad. Yes, Jim, Jimmy keep losing players, uh, running back, receivers every week. But hopefully, I'm hoping he can have a good game here as a cheap price quarterback. So, Jimmy, I'm looking forward to him in that 425 game against Seattle. My two other quarterbacks are... I'm going to go all the way on top with Wilson here against Jimmy. Uh, we all know about Wilson. There's no need to say anything else. I know he had a three INT uh, last week. I don't see that happening again. And the last one, that's a, another head scratcher here. And that's Kemp, 7.4K. Yeah, he has been bad. He said he has been bad, embarrassing. That doesn't mean he's going to have a great game. But against my Bills, I expect him to have a good game here. Uh, against his uh, a NFC, I mean AFC East opponent here. So uh, Cam, I want the Bills want I want the Bills to win, but hopefully you could still have a great game here. So I'm gonna go with him 
as my fifth one. For running back, my I'm gonna go with Henry here as uh, one of my five running back. So Henry against Cincinnati. Hopefully they just give him the ball and hopefully he does his thing. My second running back I'm gonna go here with on FD is Hunt. With OBJ out, um, hopefully they can, the team Cleveland can focus more on giving Hunt the ball. Uh, that's what I'm hoping for against a Las Vegas team that are very very bad against the run. Um, my third, I'm gonna go with Taylor. To me, the quarterback is really, really bad. The quarterback, whatever record they have, it's not because of the quarterback. Actually, I feel like they'll probably even have a better record if he was another quarterback. But regardless, hopefully Taylor will be the focus for the uh, that team and against Detroit. Another team that's really, really bad against the run. My uh, two other running back are Mixon and Bell. Uh, right now, Mixon. Oh, Mixon. If if he is good to go, then definitely like him against Tennessee uh, with the duel between him and Henry. And uh, if he is not, I will update that on Friday. All right. And then uh, Bell six K uh, against the team he was playing for two weeks ago. Uh, I feel like he like hey, you guys are on the schedule. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and sign with KC uh, so I can play you guys to show that I still have it. Uh, so hopefully, I feel like Kansas can give Bell the ball even more than uh, uh, Call it what, than what CH. C uh, let's see, I'm always spelling it. Yeah, CEH. So I'm hoping uh, that's gonna be the case here with Bell get the ball a little bit more because of the fact that he's playing his whole team. Yes, I know sometimes in football we don't do that, they're just trying to win. But uh, Kansas can easily go up 14, 21 points and let Bell do his thing. Let's go for the receivers. For receivers, Adams, without a doubt, is one of the top receivers I'm gonna be playing. And my second receiver gonna be, let's go. I'm gonna go with Allen here. Allen here at CY receiver. Allen 7.4K against Denver. Man, the quarterback basically throwing the ball to him all the time. He try, he will throw to somebody else if he cannot throw it to Allen, all right? 13 targets. Man, he got hurt here, look at this. Yeah, so Allen definitely with those target. I don't care who they are playing against for. Allen is another receiver. And I'm gonna go with uh, Higgins here. Higgins, and I'm talking about not T Higgins, but Rashard Higgins for Cleveland. Yes, I could have go with the other receiver, so let's go to Cleveland real quick. Let's go receiver. I could have go with Landry because what? He's only uh, about 300 more, but I'm gonna go with Higgins. I do like Landry too, but I'm gonna go with Against here, that's a game that could be a little shootout game. So I'm gonna go with Higgins here. I know he had a great game, and hopefully, uh, that's not the end of it. Hopefully, he can repeat that. Uh, even if it's not that close, but hopefully, this time he can get to the hand zone. I would definitely love that. All right. Uh, and my other, how well, I many I gave you so far? My other, I'm gonna go with Brown here, and not AJ. I love AJ Brown, but not AJ Brown. I'm gonna go with Marcus Brown. The price 5.9k against Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh, even as good as the defense are, is they not that good when it's come to stop people. Uh, when it's come for the uh, passing game, so against the receivers. So Marcus Brown. I need him to have a great game. He doesn't really, he hasn't had one of those games. And I feel like with that one week off, they're gonna be ready to just take off. I still believe Baltimore can beat any team in the NFL. So hopefully that starts on Sunday. So I give you guys Adams, Allen, 
Brown Higgins. And uh, my last one, I have like three choices, man. I was thinking about AJ Brown, I was thinking about Diggs, but I think I'm gonna go here and give you guys Brendan Hayuk. All right, 5.9K, I know the price is up. Uh, Seattle, like I said, they have been really, really bad on the defensive side of the game. And Brendan Hayuk right now should be the top receiver for that team. He actually been decent every week. As you can see, he just keep going up and up. So you got a 3.1, 18.6, 12.6, 5.9, 8.2, 13.9. So right now I expect him to be the main guy there. But this time I'm hoping, I'm hoping he can get to the end zone and get you a touchdown. For Titan, Kilo. Yes, he is a top tight end, but oh, he actually not even the top tight end. But uh, man, I have to go with Kido here, man. Without losing players like that, Kido gonna be one of the main guys. So Kido is my one of my fifth tight end. Waller is the second one. Um, basically, he is the main guy over there. He gonna get the ball against Cleveland, one of the worst team against tight end. Looking forward to play him. I know the tight end I'm looking to play is Cook. Thomas might be back for New Orleans, but Cook, if Cook is one of those guys, he can get downfield. They can use him on the end zone. For that reason, I like him. Uh, another cheap tight end I'm going to give you guys is Burton. They definitely like him over there. He definitely the number one tight end. What he looks like, like it. Uh, so I'm, I thought Moali Cox is really good, but to, man, they have three tight end problem. But Burton right now looks like the main guy over there at 5.3k. Definitely looking forward to play him. And the last tight end I'm gonna give you guys is Jimmy Graham against his old team, 5.4k. Uh, Man, so I was was it Monday night game? Uh, I was expecting him to do a little bit more. Uh, of course, in the early of the game, they were just passing the ball to the backup tight end. He ended up getting six targets, which is not bad, but uh, the quarterback was just bad. So I'm hoping the quarterback can be better in this game against New Orleans. So Jimmy Graham is my fifth tight end here. Let's jump to the K. For ZK, the quarterback I'm looking for is uh, Rodgers. I already talked about Rodgers. Lamar Jackson came. So, again, Rodgers, Lamar Jackson came, and Jimmy. So, all those for quarterback, I gave you those for quarterback for FD, so there's no need to say anymore. My only quarterback that's different here. On DK, my fifth one was Wilson. I mean, on FD, Wilson. Also Wilson. But on DK, I'm going to go with Burrow here. Against Tennessee, 6.2K. Great price. He went off last week. I'm hoping. Uh, I'm not expecting him to do what he did. But hopefully, he can go close between 20 to 30 fantasy points. Uh, for my running back, guys, I'm going to give you guys Henry. I already talked about Henry. Cook, the price just loved on DK. 7.5K, it looks like he will be back. Uh, I like Jacobs. 6.2K uh, against Cleveland. I can see uh, this game where they use both sides, uh, especially for, uh, I can see it's Jacobs or the tight end on this game for them. So that's why I like both of those guys. And I really like Jacobs a lot. So Jacobs, uh, I know he hasn't really had a nice game for a while. Well, he had one in week five, but he didn't do anything with six. So hopefully he can bounce back to have something like week five. All right. Uh, Bell, the price is still good, man. 4.6k. Okay. So definitely Bell is a guy I'm looking to play. I'm going to be very, very popular in Bell. I'm going to take the chance here and hopefully 
uh, he will bounce on my way. And then another running back I'm playing is Gordon. Gordon for, uh, I think that's a game that can stay close. And if that's the case, Gordon going to be a big part of this game. I believe in Gordon, man. I still think Gordon could be a really, really, really top 5, 10 running back in the game. So Gordon is the guy I'm going to play for receivers. I'm going to give you guys Adams. I will give him to you for FB, so no need to say anything. Uh, Adams, I'm going to go with uh, my Allen, Kenan Allen. I already talked about him. Higgins for Cincinnati. Uh, already talk about Higgins. I wish he was a little bit cheaper, but I still like him. Oh, he's 4.2K for some reason. I was miss. Okay, 4.2K. That's even better. I think when I was looking, I was thinking of uh, Trey Higgins, but no. Higgins for Cincinnati, 4.2K. Great price. I love him. Uh, oh, the player I thought I wish I was super is this guy right here. Uh, hey, you. Uh, Brendan Hey, you. Uh, it's another receiver. I already talk about him. I like him. He's basically the main receiver right now for 49ers against a team. That's really, really bad. I know that uh, the thing is, uh, the problem in this right here, I wonder who's going to be uh, covering him. That could be the problem. All right? But uh, regardless, I like him. They just, Seattle just been bad, so I expect him to do really, really good. And uh, I'm going to go with another player here, for, uh, and that will be AJ Green. 4.5k so i like aj green i like uh their quarterback so that's if you can pair those two guys together and then because so those are the five players uh as far as tight end so aj green again like i said if you, that's another player if you go to aj green uh let's see aj green 4.5k look at that's another player that's been getting a lot of target, all right? So 13-11 uh, in the last two games. I know he was hurt in the game before week five, but that is a lot of target. It looks like AJ Green, uh, slowly, he is going back to form. So I like him. As far as tight end, my five tight end is Kiddo, 7K. I know he's the most expensive tight end for DK, but I like him over Kelsey here, okay? Waller is my second tight end. I already talked about him. Waller is my second tight end. And uh, so my third tight end. So I give you guys Kido Waller. And my third would be Juno. Okay, the price is too cheap here. Uh, Juno at uh, 4.1K against Tennessee. Basically the worst team against, I mean against Cincinnati. Basically the worst team against tight end. And then my uh, foot tight end, I'm going to go uh, the same guy I give you guys on FD, that's Burton. Okay, uh, tight end, uh, 3.5K, great price, definitely looking forward to playing. And uh, the last one will be Bright, man. This guy, uh, if he's going to get his start again, six at that price, I will definitely take a chance on him, 3.2K. Okay, so... Uh, the problem is for tight end, I really like uh, the top tight end, Kido, this week. So uh, I make one team so far, and so far the team I make has Kido in it. Um, but uh, I will definitely mix it up with uh, where I get cheap in tight end because when I'm looking at the running back positions, I want to mostly play the top running back. So the five guys I gave you, except for one of them, most of them are not cheap at all. So that basically it, guys. Uh, Look forward for my cheap list and because I'm trying to do the segment by two now. So tomorrow, Mosaki will get my cheap list and, of course, my core place. All right. Appreciate you guys. Good luck. And please subscribe, turn on your bell notification. And uh, I'm out. Oh, by the way, guys, let me know. I'm thinking of where I'm going to make some lineups online. I might do that live uh, with you guys. And let me know what you guys think because that's something I'm possibly going to try to uh, add to uh, my segments. All right. Again, guys, subscribe, turn on your bell notification, and drop a like in this video. 
I'm out. Oh, 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 o